Hey everybody, and welcome to my N5 series on the SP404 Mark II, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 58.6, and I don't know, in between the break, I was just trying to mess around with this, and I think part of the problem I was having last session for 0.5 was this is a little bit too sloppy of playing, so it's kind of hard to do like the double time, and as a result, two things were happening. One, this is pretty loud compared at, like when I'm hitting it as hard as I can compared to the volume of this now that we've compressed it down so I do think we need to just drop so I think dropping it down will help a bit I think we'll go 65 the other thing is, like the the tail end of this loop is a tiny bit sloppy. I, it felt like it was a little bit better in time at the beginning, and I think that last snare makes it easy to just kind of get uh, messed up on. So a couple things I'm going to do is one when we re when we resample this time, I'm still going to hit pad three. But I do want to get these at the same time, but I'm going to play halftime instead, and we'll see if that sounds better. So I think I caught it just after the um, that last kick. So let's uh, put loop on, and we'll try and just put the end point here, roughly, put the start and stop here. Oh, we need gate off. Yeah, it still sounds a little weird there, but that's okay. Whoops. So I'm just going to kind of cut it here. Let's just see how it sounds. It's just kind of goofy. But again, we're not trying to make these things perfect. So that sounds all right. Now I do want to come back in. I'm going to stop it. Let's hit shift on the pad. So our length is 276,864, but we have 259,620. So I think we're still a tad bit longer. Let's go back to pad two and shift here. So 258, 986. If we want to have the exact same length, we want to be 258, 986. So let's get back over here. 258, 986. 258, 986. Just hit the enter on the value. So this will just make sure that these are the same length, even if it might sound a little bit hokey. And I'm just going to go in and truncate it. So now we have something else we can play to. Um, where we're going to start getting into a little bit of more difficulty is that like, if we want to play this chromatically, we're going to have to let the loop kind of play and then figure out where we want to start and chop. Uh, we could use our skip back feature and get back to it. Maybe, maybe not. Kind of like this. So whoop, let's just play it harder. We'll just let it kind of play. And shift come in here with shift pad uh yeah, shift pad four to get into chromatic. Let's get into let's do get a little wild. Whoops. We don't need compressor on and stuff. What I meant to do was Let's see, minor, Dorian, let's do minor, and what is it, you have to hold a roll and then rotate, let's do a, we'll go minor, a flat, so G sharp. I'm just practicing. So. 
we should presumably be able to come into the skip back and just listen through here. I'm going to probably come in here. I'm just trying to listen for... So I'm going to come back here because I think that last take was probably best. And the start is probably here, roughly. So what I'm going to do, we're just going to take that and assume that that's the correct start point. I'm going to go to menu. Let's just truncate it down. And then we want to basically hit record and we're going to save it to pad four. And if we remember, what was it? Two, if we go into start and end, 258,986. I should just write this down, but 258,986. So if we come into pad four, we can then go into start and end, turn loop on, and I want to just adjust the end so that we're on that. Shift, enter, and we're going to go 258,986. And we're going to commit that. And let's just listen to this. Oop, I'm going to turn gate off. It's not perfect. It looks like... Looks like maybe we could have uh, moved out a little bit. Hard to tell. See what it does if we move out. Nope. So I'm going to go back in. We'll just put it back in as 258.986. Now we're getting a little bit of a pop in here. Let's first go truncate this thing. And I think if we just let it play, shift envelope, I just want like a release of like one, maybe. Maybe an attack of one, two, just to, I don't know that that's fixing it fully, but what we can now do is if we go in and shift pad eight to make a mute group, let's just go to to I. I can start taking these and put them all in the same mute group so that when one starts the other one stops and we can do some fun stuff like we can just play this and when we're kind of near like the end of the loop you can kind of cut over the other one and just kind of cut back and forth So you don't have to be like perfect in timing, but this is a good way to, if you're keeping all of your loops the same length, it allows you to kind of cut in between them at the beginning and kind of keep going. Anyway, we'll probably start in the next session deleting some of these other loops to make some room and just kind of keep adding stuff. But hopefully this is kind of showing you guys just a different way you can work. You don't have to always be stuck on the, the pattern grid. It is totally okay to be a little sloppy, have some of that human offbeatness, and this is probably the best way that you're going to be able to capture some of those just mistakes that are kind of fun and actually can end up sounding kind of cool. Anyway, everybody, keep making music, keep having fun. If it sounds good, it is good, and peace.